Alright guys, welcome back to a s another Steam Free to Play Revisited. Today we're going to be talking about Slay Together again. Because I noticed there was an update and that they changed a lot of things since I last played it. So I really wanted to see if it would like increase the score or make it a better game by the changes. Because they seem pretty interesting. So I'm going to talk about that and I'm going to tell you how to be good at this game. Because I had to play this so long to unlock one of the new weapons that they put into the game. I actually got pretty good at it. <laughs> like, I was ranked 2 in the server for a little bit before more people started playing. So, first off, the first change they made was they added a mini boss, which is every 5 waves. And then they added weapon skins. They're not actually weapons. This threw me off so hard because I did all this grinding. They are so expensive. And it's not worth it. <laughs> it's just not worth it. They look cool, but they don't do anything differently. I was really expecting like a weapon of op when I got there and it wasn't that. So in my opinion that just kind of really hurt my feelings because they're so expensive. And then the third thing you can see in the top right is that if you kill so many enemies you get silver now which you can use to unlock the skins. So it's nice that they like reward you for killing things now you actually have a reason to do it besides just seeing how many you can kill. Fourth thing is they added in global chat, which you can't turn off, so if they say something bad in the bottom left, I apologize in advance. I didn't have like a real good way to cut it out that I was going to actually spend the time doing, so <laughs> just try to ignore it. Um, so the first tip I got to give you guys is that you have to pretty much sprint around the map in a way that you can let everything spawn for a wave. Like, if you do not let everything spawn, they're just going to spawn immediately, like, right next to you and hit you and surround you. So you have to make a path around the map that can not get you hit. Like, this part coming up, I'll show you how I start running it. Once a wave spawns, I don't sprint right off the start. I'm going to do a slow run. And you want to do the slow run so they have time to spawn. And then, once they start spawning, you're going to want to take this back path here. It's like a circular path. And you want to like sprint some because you want to get through it without getting surrounded but you want to like slow up a little bit too so they can like actually like gather up so once you get through that everybody should be just about spawned and you're going to let them group and you're going to try to hit them and roll and then you're going to sprint off to like uh you're going to hit your w and d key that's what i use anyways you could use w and a i guess but if you don't use the W key with the D, you will not be able to sprint r while running sideways. So that, that's something you gotta keep in mind. And it takes a little bit of, like, dexterity to do this. Because if you just hit the D key after you roll, you're just gonna walk to the side. So you gotta hit the W key as well. And the main thing is there's these guys with masks. Like, I don't know if you see that guy on the left. He has, like, a Jester's mask on. And these guys are faster. And they will hit you immediately if you get near them. So you gotta be super careful about that because they are jerks. They are the worst enemy in the game by far. Another thing is, you don't want to kill, once you like thin out their numbers, you want to like look for pots before you kill the rest of them because you want to get through the wave. Before, like as long as one's alive, the wave doesn't end. So you have time to look for your potions. And sometimes you have to be careful trying to get to the potions because of the fire. Sometimes they're just in the fire. And you gotta make a decision at that point too whether you're gonna take the fire damage or not because sometimes you'll take more damage than you'll get back from the potions. So you gotta be really careful about that. Another thing is if you do what I just did there and there's the mask people still up where I did like three or four back rolls in a row. And four three to four back rolls in a row, <laughs> they will hit you. So you want to kill them first. Once you thin them out like this, you don't have to worry about it as much. But if you have those mass people still up, you got to be very careful of them smacking you while you're doing your rolling motion. So you only want to do one or two rolls before you, like, take off on your side sprint. And it just takes a little bit of reflex. But once you get this system pretty much down, uh, you can pretty much go as far as you want to. I think a lot of people use the hammer, but I like the hex because of the mobility of being able to, like, hit and move. But the main thing here is this strategy right here where you're gathering people. Because if you don't let them spawn, you're going to take a bunch of random hits. And you got to hope nobody goes through that little alleyway passage too. Because if they go through that, you're going to be in trouble. 
because <laughs> they'll block you in there and you won't be able to hit them sometimes. And it's it's bad. Another thing is with your special move. I actually found a use for this. You kind of want to use it at the start of like a fight with a wave because it has invincibility frames, but they're not that long that if you use it like while you're like running up to somebody, that it, you won't get hit. You want to use it before they get to you. So it can kind of like charge up and you'll be like mid invincibility frames and then you can do your sprint movement. You have to be very careful when you get in these later waves because if you get even close to these guys, they will murder you. That's how you want to use the special move, by the way. How that just went right there. So, granted the gameplay in this game is a lot of the same. I thought it was going to be a little bit like more to it. The boss, I'm going to tell you how to do the boss. I don't know if I included a clip. I'll try to add one maybe. But it's basically a knight character. And you have to... Basically, you don't want to aggro him while the, all these people are up. You can kill them and then take a little bit of a break because the next wave won't spawn until you kill the night boss. But you want to... He'll shield and then he'll swing every time. That's his pattern. Once you see the shield coming down, roll. Just roll immediately and then do one swing. And that's how you beat him. It's that easy. It takes a little bit to get the timing, but just realize as soon as the shield starts moving down, you can roll. It's not, it's not super punishing, like it doesn't have to be like frame perfect or anything like that. But you, the knight should not be your challenge now. The knight is really easy once you get used to it. I saw some people struggling with it in chat, but it's not that bad. Also, this game is, I, I would imagine being a lot easier on single player than multiplayer. Because there's more minions, you got people running around just doing their thing, and it's really hard to gather the waves like you need to to actually like succeed. But at the same time, I could see you, if you're like coordinated with these people, you could like attack at different times with like the hammer and probably like have like an invincible wall kind of thing going on in like a corner of the map. But I didn't play, I played a few multiplayer games because some people joined my game. But another thing is there's only, the admin said earlier in the game, when I was playing, there's only 13 people on the server at the time because that's all they can afford right now. I don't know how many servers they got, but... Like, they'll, they said there's 12 players and then the admin person, so... It's, it's still... Like, a lot of people seem to be playing it. There's like 13 people on quite a bit. When you get the mechanics going to like your path, to how you want to gather your peasants, and your role, you're on your way to being a god king child peasant. And killing more peasants than the bubonic plague. So you gotta be careful of that, because the daughter's death will come and get you according to Lone Reaper, so watch out for that. <laughs> but, uh, good luck. That would be a cool crossover though if they could get with the Lone Reaper creator and just like make a mini boss or a late game boss where you have to fight her, that'd be sick. Oh, yeah, see I aggroed the Black Knight on accident and he's faster than everybody if you do that. You kinda need to stay away from this area. He won't ag like... You gotta get pretty close for him to ag. Sometimes he'll de-ag too like he did here but I've already taken too much damage. But yeah, that was my best run I did after playing the game for a hot minute trying to grind for that Celtic weapon and yeah see number two hey Moy just like left everybody in the dust I think there were some other people that passed me too before I quit playing they got to like wave 44 I think they were playing with Kamoy but eh, it's alright the Celtic weapons my gosh I'll show you what it looks like and I was so disappointed I really thought it was gonna be like a different type of weapon but it was really the same thing Oh, but this game I'm going to give a um, 6 out of 10. It was a 5 out of 10, so the revised score will be a 6 out of 10. Because they did add some things. They added things for you to work towards. It just did not feel rewarding for how much work it took to get them. <laughs> I was really disappointed. I was like, is the Celtic weapons the same thing? <laughs> Why? Because it was like 30,000 silver pieces and you get 100... So, like, if I do a full run at, like, 30, I might get, like, a thousand silver pieces. And that takes a while. Like, getting to wave 30 takes a long time. Oh, I was, I was upset. <laughs> I felt so betrayed. Oh. But thanks for watching, as always. I really need to add the night fight in here to show you how to do it, but... Yeah. That's a hindsight note to myself while I'm doing the editing on this. I need to add in the night fight. But thanks for watching, as always. Please like and subscribe. Bye!